Alright folks, welcome back to yet another video by Lucas Clones. Um, this is a video that many of you have been asking for for a while and as I said in my previous video I wasn't able to get to it um, for the sake of the fact that uh, my Star Wars Clone Wars collection was pretty pretty messy so um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment here to sh uh, go through my Star Wars Clone Wars collection um, I've really kind of trimmed down my collecting um, as far as Star Wars goes I haven't been collecting a whole lot of vintage uh, figures and I haven't co been collecting any Saga Legend figures because I pretty much got all those that I want and I'm mostly just focusing on Clone Wars and particularly on the clones as I have been for some time. Uh, but before I get to that I just want to really want to quick show a couple of customs that I've been working on here. This is a Commander Wolf realistic style. I've done one of these before. This is my second one. Um, and I have another one that I've got to do for a customer. And then this is a realistic style Ultimate Commander Cody figure. He's sort of a um, trying to make him like a mini sideshow Cody. So he's got the Fordo body, which is super articulated. He's got metal uh, uh, <clears throat> antenna on his helmet and on his shoulder. And he's almost done. I just got to do put him through a little bit of weathering and a few little tweaks here and there. Wolf, of course, is done, and I'll get the uh, wolf symbol on the side there. And his little, I forget what that symbol is on the side there. I don't think I actually ever heard a name of that. And then these guys will be all wrapped up and I'll be moving on to some more customs. And just a really quick word too on commissions before I get to my video. Um, I'm starting to get more and more commissions, which I'm very happy about. Uh, it's kind of nice to be able to make some money off of this hobby as well as very satisfying uh, for me as an artist to have people who appreciate my work. So, and... Um, I want to say, you know, if you want, if you see anything that you like and you would like to commission, it's lucasclones at gmail.com. And before I go any further, I have something very important that I want to say, and that is a big thank you to all you guys out there that watch my videos. Um, it really um, shocks me a bit that people like my videos so much. Uh, I tend to think I ramble on a little bit too much, talk too much. Uh, but uh, it seems everybody likes it when I talk, so I'm going to try to continue with that. And I really want to say a big thank you to all of you who watch. I dare not say fans, but uh, at least uh, people who watch. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, and uh, let's get on to the, the, the Clone Wars. Okay, now my Jedi are here. And I'm starting to get a pretty complete collection of Jedi. There's a couple of things in here. My Anakin has fallen down and my Yoda has fallen down. They're all down there. Uh, because my three-year-old gets into them. There's a couple of things missing. I don't have a Luminara, and I would like to get a uh, super articulated Plo Koon um, that came with the speeder bike, but I don't really want the speeder bike at all. And then, of course, I do not have Kit Fisto and Plo Koon snow gear that just came out. But other than that, my Jedis are looking pretty good down there. And now on to the clones, and I'm going to try to light them up as best I can since they are on a higher shelf they, uh, they tend to get a little bit of a shadow cast especially around the ATAP but getting in here I've got uh, there's a Rex uh, Commander Rex is kind of an amalgamation of several different parts there that newer Rex that came out with the ball jointed hips I didn't care for too much but I did care for his helmet because I believe that's finally the first time they've gotten his helmet correct and also his uh, pauldron I like. I got Fives and Echo back there. I've got uh, Denal. I've got a couple of 501st clones. Kicks. I've got the first version of Echo. Uh, I've got another blue clone. I've got Wolfpack guys there. Space clone, Waxer and and uh, not Waxer and Boyle. Um, Sinker and Boost. Um, and then my Wolf is down here because I've been using him to look at while I've been painting. Of course got, uh, that's my custom eyeball, Colon Trooper I created there. Uh, Commander Colt, uh, Lieutenant uh, Blitz, one of my favorites. Another Commander Colt, I've just got a spare for customs actually, i probably use that one. Sergeant Brick, I put him and Ellis in the front there because they train clones obviously, so it kind of makes sense to have them out in front. I've got a, I think that is a tank gunner clone, not a tank gunner clone, a, gosh, I can't think of it, uh, the, the the very dark looking clone there. 
I've got a Captain Fordo. I've got a custom Alpha 17 a Phase 1 armor. Draw, Gree, some uh, 41st. I got one 41st Elite. There is a custom Phase 2 Arc Trooper. I haven't come up with a name for him yet. Uh, he's kind of falling over a little bit. Let me see if I can. There he goes. Colt's falling down here. All right, but he's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, there's the version one Colt, or sort of pseudo Colt, as you maybe you can think of it. There's a Havoc I've been working on, trying to get him more screen accurate. I got another Blitz. That's for customs. Uh, Commander Hammer, custom. And there is one of my prized possessions, a uh, uh, custom figure by a friend of mine named Darth Daddy. His name is, oh gosh, I want to say Bone, Bones, forgot off the top of my head, I have to go look it up on the internet because I forget the name of my own uh, custom. Uh, what's his face there, oh I can't think of it, I'm drawing a blank here. Commander Cody back there, Waxer and Boyle. Now, someone said that this one right here that you're looking at in the center of the screen is a custom Phase 2 Waxer. It is not. It is a custom 212 clone that my son made, and he actually gave it to me for Christmas. So that's another one of my prized possessions. Um, Waxer and Boyle in ARF armor. Commander Jet, another one of my favorite figures, is a Riot Control clone. I got a couple of 212th behind Bly. Bly is another figure that I'm proud to own because he's a little bit difficult to find. And I've got a couple more custom ARC Troopers back here. If you look in the middle of the screen from right to left, I have a custom um, ARC Trooper, Jungle Commando ARC Trooper with an ARF, modified ARF helmet. I have in the middle an Urban Commando, ARC Commando. Uh, I don't remember if I made it. I don't think I made a name up for him. And then also another jungle on the left side there, uh, Art Trooper. Didn't make up a name for him either. I've got Bantha Squad back there with two commanders and five regular clone troopers. One uh, recon jetpack trooper. I have got... Uh, boy, I'm just drawing a blank here on all their names. It's been so long since I've thought about them all. Um, uh, I'll come back to him. Uh, a couple more guys back here. Blackout, Stealth Ops clone. Um, let's see who else here. Commander Stone. Uh, I've got a Spec Ops clone. And um, I got a couple of ARFs, regular 212th ARFs that I made on top of the ATRT and to the right that are just 212th regular ARF troopers. They're not supposed to be waxer or boil or anybody like that. Just the regular guys that you saw in landing at Point Rain. I got a flamethrower trooper. I've got seven regular uh, clones. Some of them are non-removable. Some of them are removable. The ones that are removable are I have a fives in there. And then I have the um, the clone troopers from the Hidden Enemy Battle Pack. And then underneath behind the ATAP I have my pilot clones. Um, Goji, you can't see them, but it's Goji. I have Warthog. I have Matchstick. I have Oddball. And I have a, a custom that I made uh, Clipper. He's in the purple. You can kind of see him back there. And then, of course, on my ATAP, I have my tank squad up there with a custom gunner and then a pilot and um, main gunner inside that I've done uh, pictures of, and I think I've done a video on them. And let's see, did I miss anyone? I don't think so. I do have an extra Havoc down here, um, and that is reserved for a buddy of mine named B Nabil6901. And I have a Whip Work in Progress uh, clone trooper there, another arc. Arcs are my favorite. And I think these guys here are going to be custom, so I'm not counting them. But I think that's going to do it. So this video has kind of gone on long, but um, I hope it was uh, worth the wait. And I'm still trying to think of the red lieutenant. Uh, can't think of their names. The red guys. I know their names, but it's slipping my mind there. Oh, and I do have Pawns, Commander Pawns. So anyhow, I hope this is worth the wait, and you can post in my comments the names of those clones, because I just feel like an idiot for not even remembering them. I know them very well, it's just been so long, and drawing a bit of a blank, so. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, so until next time, may the Force be with you. 
and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Reese, Jack, and Lieutenant Thayer. I just remembered. I knew as soon as I turned the camera off I would remember. Reese, Jack, and Lieutenant Thayer. Some more favorite clones of mine. Alright, bye bye again, guys. Alright, I showed you my good guys, and I got to show you my bad guys. Um, I had to move all of them up. Uh, because when I re redid my shelves, so I've got Death Watch here, nice little swad, General Grievous and Dooku, got a Zombie Geonosian back there and a Geonosian Gunner. I have Pre Vizsla, obviously leading Death Watch, one of my prized possessions, Darth Sidious. I've got that Bounty Hunter Battle Pack with Shahan Ball, the 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 two uh, Commando Droids, and the little fish dude. Not doing too good with names tonight. Cad Bane. Boba Fett in his Mando armor, Hondo, we got Embo way, way back there, Kato Parasiti is in there, um, I put my custom Trandos, they're not really Clone Wars style in there, they're loosely based on the Wookiee Hunt episode, and then of course over here I have Boba Fett, Arasing, Bosk, and Castus in the Slave One, so that's my bad guys and bounty hunters pretty uh, happy with this collection too. I don't have any droids anymore because I actually sold them all so I've got to build my droid collection back up. Um, Alright, on to the next thing. One more add-on. Uh, I forgot about these go guys over here. I put them under my ad at. Uh, they could be riding along with an ad at. We never know if we're going to see one um, before the end of the Clone Wars. Uh, but these are my ARF uh, squad, my recon squad here. So some regular jungle ARFs, and then I have the Camino ARF, and then I have two um, recon speeders with the ARF pilot in them. Uh, so there you go. That's all of my ARFs, and I believe, uh, yeah, I have my customs ARFs in there. One of them has fallen down. Those are kind of like the squad leaders, and this guy actually has a removable helmet. It's going to probably stick. There you go. So, there you go. And I think that is actually now all of my clones. Take it easy. Bye-bye.